Now, your Chris 6 weather forecast. Hey there, happy Monday. Welcome back to a brand new week, a fresh opportunity to get reacquainted with the heat. I don't know, I'm trying to dress this up. We've had some hot weather over the weekend. I hope you found a way to beat the heat because this lingers a couple more days. In fact, right now, most of the coastal bend under a heat advisory until 9 o'clock this evening. If you would like a silver lining to this heat, we are not in the pink shaded counties up by the San Antonio metro area excessive heat warning for them. So we could see those heat indices up to 115 degrees. They are going to see those for at least a period of two hours or longer. But we uh, beat a record yesterday. High temperature in Corpus Christi. Actual air temperature was 100 degrees at the airport. That smashed the record of 98 that was matched back in 2009. And now we will be near some record high temperatures set back in 2019 with that a short heat wave that uh, broke a few records. So we'll be near the record of 101. Uh, today's temperature coming in at 98. Tomorrow, a little bit farther from that record. Also 101, looking to come in at 97 for Tuesday. So yes, it is hot. It is feeling extra hot. Here's a look at the actual air temperatures. Keep in mind, inland areas, your actual air temperatures in those triple digits, low 100s, your feels like temperature will be truer to that than our friends on the coastline still in those middle 90s. It feels just as hot there because that humidity amplifies that. And it's brought to us really by the onshore flow. There was a little bit of a sea breeze that helped uh, to bring a little bit of relief in the form of wind around 15 to 20 miles per hour. But really what it does, it ushers in some of that humidity from the Gulf of Mexico. So our coastal counties stay more humid and then things steeply drop off inland. So that's why the temperatures are more true to form uh, as far as that feels like or apparent temperature, the heat index. Usually we can see the sea breeze on visible satellite, but because it is so dry from the high pressure over us, there are no clouds to show you out there. Clear blue 22 uh, for the pilots out there, and it's going to stay that way at least into tomorrow. So yes, we have higher humidity here in Corpus Christi, but the reason why I'm showing you the muggy meter isn't to give you any hope for change. Uh, it's to point out a little bit of a change coming for this weekend. Yes, some Saharan dust coming back into the forecast. That's going to mean bigger ranges in our temperatures and no rain chances as we go into next Saturday and Sunday. But there is one in the forecast, a little bit of a uh, chance of rain. It will not do much for our drought that we are continuing here. We've been in drought conditions in the coastal bend since the end of April, and we're hoping maybe we can just keep it at bay with a few rain chances that we have toward the end of the week. So moisture tracker showing that our best chance to have fuel for those showers will be on Thursday and after that it's really just not great because of that Saharan dust that moves back in. So as we go through the next couple of days, Thursday and really just northern communities that have a chance of picking up a few hundredths of an inch. By Friday, that looks a little bit better. Still some areas by this model missing out like Kingsville and Alice only getting uh, one one hundredth of an inch. But some coastal communities and those to the north have a better chance of picking up maybe as much of a tenth of an inch. That's being ambitious, though, so not much hope for rainfall, unfortunately, in the forecast this week. But still a few storms possible as we go on into Thursday and Friday, Saturday and Sunday. We have that Saharan dust back in the forecast with temperatures nearing 100 once again.